The type for child is called the more serious child in the child whisperer, and the shapes, lines, and movement will express clearly in their facial features. And what is the quality of movement for a type for child, and what are the shapes, lines, and movement? in their faces. The type four child connects to the world intellectually. They have a straightforward analytical way of approaching life. And so we'll see that quality expressed in the shapes, straight lines, parallel lines, rectangles, perfect ovals, and symmetry, because it's creating a very clear, precise movement. Mm -hmm. What are we looking for in their facial features? You can find all of that in the Child Whisper, and these videos are meant to bring what we teach in the Child Whisper to life so you can see visuals that will support you. And let's turn to the Type 4 section, and you will find that we will review face shape, skin and skin texture, cheeks, nose, eyes, and eyebrows. And then right after facial features, you'll find a section on body language, and these two together will be really supportive mm -hmm. in identifying your child's dominant energy type. Mm -hmm. You're going to look overall for that quality of symmetry and refinement mm -hmm. that's expressing in a type four child's face. As we now look at individual facial features, this young girl, she's got some beautiful examples of a type four child's face. Overall, you can see a lot of symmetry. If you were to divide her face in half, it's as though each feature was placed in the exact place as the other side of the face. Of it's a mirror image. Her eyes have this deep reflecting pull quality to them, which you'll see in type 4 children. They're sort of this kind of what type 4 children are called old souls a lot, mm -hmm. when really they're just the, I mean, I have no idea if we're young or old <laughs> or whatever when it comes to our they souls. They have a mature quality. But they have them. a mature quality. So that's where people don't know how to reference that. They can't say, your child has an intellectual connection to the world. They just need, <laughs> they say something like, well, they're an old soul, mm -hmm. when they just have this refinement about their energy and their presence. So what else are we seeing in her face, Anne? I see all sorts of straight lines. Look at her smiling. That's a full-on smile. Yeah. The top of her mouth is exactly straight. Her upper lip doesn't yeah. even move upward. Contrast that with the type 1 images. Yes. You can go back and watch the type yeah. 1 now and Pure see that. the difference. This is a straight line, but she's obviously smiling. And the lines on the side of her mouth that are created when she smiles are just very exact. Mm -hmm. And then you can see a straight line underneath her nose and then moving up underneath her eyes. You can also see straight lines on the side of her face. And, and her very... brows are set, her eyebrows mm -hmm. are set on a straight line. Yes. Also just a very clear quality to her skin. Mm -hmm. Then type fours have a reflective porcelain quality to their mm -hmm. skin, which just means overall to be more consistent in its coloring and it will have smaller pores. Which gives them the quality of looking, the word stunning really fits mm -hmm. them. I think of my grandson. He has this stunning quality to his skin and his features, very, uh, very defined, very sculpted mm -hmm. look to his face. This little boy, we can see again that straight sides of his face on each side, kind of a square. And that quality of straight eye set on a straight line. As we draw a line from the outer corner through the middle to the other outer corner of the eye, it's a straight line. I think he even did his hair himself. Because a type <laughs> 4 child would have this preference yes. to have their hair very exact and very sleek. So who knows? Maybe he combed his hair that day. <laughs> Another way place we can see rectangles and straight lines created are if you should draw a straight line going down from his eyebrow to the outer edge of his nostril, under his nose, up and over again. That would create a very exact straight quality. You can also that see... That wide nose bridge. Yes, yeah, so a wider nose bridge mm -hmm. and the eyebrows maybe even set a little bit farther apart. Mm -hmm. And this is just creating balance. You can also see a higher cheekbone reflecting his jawline. Yeah, there's a mirror image to the cheekbone, to the jawline, and that sculpted jawline. And these are features that will develop even more as He'll be, he continues to More grow. definition mm -hmm. will form. In this young woman's face, we again see that wide nose bridge. Again, those eyebrows set on a straight line, the eyes set on a straight line, that upper lip. Again, that smile without any upward curve to the upper lip. And her teeth actually, I think, express her type 4 energy quite well. They're very precisely placed and they're rectangles. And you can see the lines between them very clearly. 
Yeah, you can see this expressed in all areas. You'll see it in ears, you'll see it in hands, you'll see it in the way you move. These, This movement can be applied to everything that you're doing in life. Type for children, quite often when they're little, they're, re they're not referred to as cute. They don't necessarily have a, they can be playful, of course. Every child is playful. Mm -hmm. People will sense a, again, that refined quality to them. So a little girl or a, a baby girl could be often called beautiful. What a beautiful, I heard that a lot. Um, in the case of my type four son, what I heard a lot was he's very handsome. Mm -hmm. there beautiful was baby, handsome Beautiful baby. baby handsome baby. It's like, you're more than cute. You have this yeah, refined the, quality. Cute yeah, is the, too playful for you. And yeah. Little baby boys will off, type four little baby boys will also be called beautiful because mm -hmm. the stunning quality that they have. But as they mature, little boys are often called, what a handsome little boy. Mm -hmm. And what a beautiful little girl. So listen to what feedback you receive from other people. That's often a major clue to them noticing your child's energy type. Let's look at all three photos together and notice the similarities that you see. We see something very interesting with their lips, Anne. Very clean, clear line with the lip definition. Mm -hmm. And so you can just see there's that higher contrast. You'll experience that with type fours. There'll be a low to no contrast or a very high defined contrast. Mm -hmm. You can also see in their skin a very clear quality. They just have very sculpted features, and so we're seeing that exact precise quality come mm -hmm. out in all of their faces. Something that's very distinct also for a type 4 child is the way they hold themselves. Their posture is more erect. They have more, uh, when they walk, they hold themselves upright with a straightness about their posture, and also with their language and their speech, their pronunciation is very clear and distinct, very, a lot of definition. They mm -hmm. say words correctly, and they often point out to you when you do not say them correctly. <laughs> so hold your type four child's photo next to these and see the similarities, the striking quality, the stunning quality that your type four child expresses through their nature as the more mature child. And what a gift to know this about the type four more serious child, that you can respect their true nature. And as you know, they then more readily respect you.